Great, so how much time do you need in order to move from this basic section that you usually get in Archicad to something like this, a design section that uh, is simplistic and a little bit better in my opinion? Or maybe the question is, how do you move from this section that you usually get in Archicad to something like this? In this video, we are going to cover how to come up with something like this and also to see how we can speed up the process of working on sections because that's the essence of Archicad. It is meant to help us to not draft these things manually but to concentrate on the design in flow plans and 3D modeling. So let's get started with this video. Hi there, it's Neilan and welcome to Naltex Studio. So if you are new to this channel, I recommend that you do subscribe because we make content like this, helping you as a designer save time and focus on improving your designs with tips in Archicad, Photoshop and other software that we usually use as designers such as Twinmotion. Now, in this very example, I have a floor plan here, which is uh, a simple one on the ground floor. I have a parking, a basic parking, which supplies to residential units that you see on the first floor. So on the first floor, I have a simple layout. Uh, I have a unit this side and a unit the other side of a circulation space here, which makes this um, predictable design and I think uh, simple in terms of usability and these floor plans are typical all the way up to the fourth floor and then you have the terrace just above it. So when you first open a section in Archicad, if I may open this one, we have something like this which is pretty basic and has a lot going on. So how do we simplify it to create something that's more visually appealing? Well, we are going to use a color scheme. In this case, it's going to be black and white. And this is how we are going to do it. So for the very first thing that you want to do is that you need to go to here at the tab of the very section that you want to change and right click and go to section settings. In the settings, look out for model display. And what we are going to actually try to do is to deal with separately the cut elements and the uncut elements because those are the two main things that we have both in the model display and in our model here. So in the cut elements, we are going to just look out for the cut ones for the checkbox here and we check it such that we have control over the cut line fill and its background so you want to change everything to black both the background and foreground well you can choose the pens that you like it doesn't matter and we are essentially done with the cut planes so next is to deal with the uncut which you get by just scrolling down and you have the uncut pens here. So let's choose a uniform pen for the uncut elements. So this is what we do have here. And by default, we have this pen here, which is a 0.18. So when we come in here, it's something like right there. I can choose any other. Why not? So that is done. And that's essentially it about the very first step that you need to take just to change the uncut and the cut elements. So now that that is done, before we leave this dialog box, we have things that are happening in the glass. So the glass is showing up things that are behind the glass, which I do not wish to see because I want it to be as simple as possible. So I can turn transparency to off here such that I will have nothing showing through and that's basically it about the very first step you need to take and when I say okay it starts to calculate and this is what you get this leads us to the second stage So the second stage is just essentially populating the section in order to create a narrative around your design one is to create the context around which the 
building is going to be because obviously it's going to build in a given area. So maybe you have things which are already existing. By putting them here, you can add a better narrative for your design. One is that maybe I know that this building is going to be built on ground. So visually, I can represent that by going to design and document and then I pick a fill and I have it already selected here. So all you have to do is to select that fill and make it earth. I can uh, turn off this solid line and have it as a simple light pen here and its background as black or even if it can be background doesn't matter so let's say okay and begin to draw i'm going to use this third option here and i will just draw this over place it where i need it and uh, right click display order i send it to back and i am essentially done with the ground maybe this is too much i can scale it down so i have placed a uh, context for for this thing and the next thing is that maybe i have some trees around my site so i'll go ahead and go to the object tool and i can type in pin tree literally and the trees will show up i had already done that so maybe in this case i can choose evergreen and when i do choose i can go here in evergreen types and go to the 2d representation where i can choose the symbolic side view uh, because therein we have options of uh, trees that we can use so i think i can use this type too i will say okay and i'll place it somewhere around here of course, I should have changed the, the pen. So when I come in here, I can choose the pen that I want to see in representation and place it where it's supposed to be. So I can right click and also display order, send it uh, backward such that it's easy for me to do, to look at, or even in the settings I can as well, reduce how big this is. Maybe it's too big three meters i need it taller in order to sort of look like the way the building is it's it's a slender thing that's happening here so for this tree in my example i had made it a bit closer by a darker pen and for another tree which i may choose maybe from the deciduous category i can decide in the symbolic side view something like this one right here and then uh, before I leave before I leave I choose the pen that I need maybe something that's going to send it all the way to the background I say okay and then I come in here and place it and there I have it so great you can place it even around the building such that when you right click display order send it to back it's already sent to the back and we have created a context maybe these are the two trees that were evident on site next is that this building is going to be inhabited by people so all we have to do is to go to objects and add in people so all we have to do is type in man literary and we will have these options here, maybe this guy can climb the stairs. So in the custom settings, we can go to the top view and change it to front view. And then in the 2D, I like to have the foreground as a background uh, open color or background color because this background color is white such that the pens are these black ones. So let me say OK and place it. So let him climb the stair somewhere around there. So you can position him and he is looking pretty great, which you can do, which you can do also for a man standing like this one, change him to the front view and then choose a, a background for the field type. And we say, okay, and place him around here and we are essentially 
done or you can create another narrative for our beautiful tellers right there just going in there and maybe we can select these things from the library and we have a full family and do the same thing that, like we did before and maybe have them enjoy the terrace around here let them move move toward the balcony as a family and and there you have it so of course there are certain things that you might not have done in the model for example i use the slab for this roof right here and obviously it's not going to be like this uh, because we will use maybe trusses from within and the only thing that's going to be structural is going to be an element around it so pretty easy to draw over you can pick a fill i'm going to pick a background fill that is going to be uh, having a black outline and that is pretty it i can space click place to place it yes and once it is done scale it in by maybe the thickness of the material about 100 and that is representing correctly or maybe i of course i did not model a, a lift so it's pretty easy for me to go in and draw something that that looks like one and i can move it as well to anywhere maybe it is between stories so and perhaps we have cable lines that run along this structure wall as well supporting this uh, this lift all the way from the machine room which is around here maybe in the machine room we have something going on as well so you get my point it's pretty easy to do this and in just minutes you have a design a design section that you can work with. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.